go through the process, work through the amendment, and get the amendments attached to the budget, and then you're going to call for the item in chief to come up as a amendment. And, and right. then that's the time to discuss the full impact issue, the, the, the divided camera issue, etc. Uh, yes, the only the first we're only going to talk about the the amendments. Anything anything other than the amendments before us would be would be out of order. I would call for further amendments at the end, although uh, further amendments would be would be tackled. Then we'll go to the the main item. Although uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not sure what kind of discussion we could, oh. we could have. We've discussed all those items previously. Okay, I can give you a quick example. As an example. In this budget, we are committing to spend $2.8 million to start the police department's body camera program, phase one. Correct. But we don't know how many phases. We're still in the quiet period because we can't talk about it. We're in the quiet period for about five months. So how and why that, that type of stuff could be discussed, I think. Uh, I guess it would be appropriate. Those are those are budgetary issues, but uh, unless there's no yes. So the appropriate time to have that kind of discussion would be when we have the entire budget. And, and the same thing about the whole uh, <coughs> issue that's on the table, the seven million that's in here, that's for police and I mean for fire and police. So at the end. Uh, yes. Although if you get if you yes, that would be the the time and uh, more amendments could be offered when we get to the main item. Thank you. Kevin. Yeah, all tackled. Further discussions about that process. Can I bear with him to Gonzalez? Mayor, to uh, Councilmember for to Councilmember Bradford's point, we discussed that again. Uh, I'm just curious if, if, if it might be too late in the sense that if we were to tap into that general government uh, line item for compensation, uh, that could potentially impact potential raises to a municipal and fire. And I'm just curious if we discuss it at the end and that might be too late. Uh, I, I, certainly that question could come up as individual. Uh, some of the some of the uh, budget amendments uh, touch on expenditures from the uh, uh, general government uh, contingency and could have an impact on that, but I would assume that that discussion would actually happen because of the budget amendments at that time. Any other uh, questions about how we'll proceed? Chair uh, recognizes Council Member Laster for a point of procedure. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to move uh, line items four through ten to be considered before any other budget amendments and to consider line item seven, the Davis Amendment 7.01, as the first amendment. Moved and seconded. So we move the the category of the entire category of council district service funds, which would be line item four through line item ten, and consider that before any other consideration. Uh, any, and then and then uh, of those, poll number seven first. I'm assuming that there's no discussion of that motion. To pull things out of order. Hearing none. Favoring opposed. No. Motion carries. Council member Christie voting no. <coughs> so, to make sure that everybody followed that, we now have line numbers 4 through 10 to, to be the first ones considered, and line number 7, which was the particular item offered, amendment offered by Councilmember Davis as the first item under debate, and as we generally do, I'm going to let the maker of the original motion speak first, and then everybody else can come into the queue. Council Member, uh, Vice Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, thank you, colleagues, for allowing this to happen. Um, I'm presenting the substitute amendment for line number seven. Part of this covered at 7.01. Substitute amendment language has been circulated, and it reads as follows. Allocate 5.5 to the general government expenditures, budget to city council fund, uh, for district, county district service fund. Said funds available effective July 1st, 2015. All general fund revenues and resources received in FY 2016 in excess of two, uh, billion. Two, two billion. Yeah, that's what I wanted. You know, two million three hundred ninety one million two hundred thirty three thousand one hundred thirty one dollars shall be designated to the fund balance and shall not be appropriated for FY 2016. This is my 
amount shall not include pass through funds and general government reimbursement of 5.5 million in event revenues and resources exceed the adopted budget by the same amount. Yeah, it doesn't require second, but it has been seconded by my counselor uh, last year. Do you wish to, do you wish to speak further to your, to your motion? If, or otherwise, I'm going to ask you some clarifying questions. Yeah, I uh, guess, ma'am. <coughs> um, I, I can. You are uh, aware that uh, when we put this budget together, and I met with each of you individually, uh, that it, it was clear to me that the items that council added to the budget last year would need to be included this year. Everyone had the full intention of adding again. If, if I didn't include them, that was um, summer jobs, the after school program, and the council district service funds. Uh, added up, that was a total of seven and a half million dollars. Uh, as we indicated when we released the budget, I uh, couldn't get a, an entire 11 million dollars uh, without taking fund balance below seven and a half percent, or in my view, impacting my ability to, to negotiate <laughs> contracts and so forth. Uh, I know there were a number of budget items that looked for ways to take council member service funds up to the full 11 million. So to, uh, rather than, uh, some of them took it out of fund balance, or rather, so this is, would completely comply with the council approved financial policies because it does not take us below seven and a half percent. It uh, would allow a replenishment of the five and a half million added to what was already available through the administration for the council district service funds. So, so district service funds would be a million dollars for each district council member. And if the economy picks up, we can fill the hole. That's the short version. But, and then anything above that, once the hole is filled, everything is saved for next year. Um, I, I, the only comment I will make is that uh, it's, a, it's a good way to achieve the council district service funds. It, it is completely within the policies of city council. It will potentially constrain the administration in terms of the contract negotiations that, that we have ongoing, but it doesn't, it doesn't suck up all of the contingencies, so it doesn't shut it down. Just, that just causes me some concern, and I want to raise that issue. Now I'll open the floor to so, you. So 